I never imagined that I would meet my very best friend in prison. We hung out all the time. So we had to go to laundry every single day, Monday through Friday, and we always walked to laundry together. If we decided to eat in the cafeteria, we always stood in line together. Every single thing that we did that we could do together, we went together. Her name is Melissa and my name is Amanda. And wherever you saw Melissa, you saw Amanda and vice versa. Another unexpected thing was that we had visitation together. My last name was Cisco, her last name was Asco. And because our names were in the beginning part of the alphabet, every single week we had our visitations together. Every week her mom and dad came to visit her and my dad came to visit me. Both of our parents were really happy that we had found each other, that we had somebody in prison that we could call a friend. And our family started talking and being friends themselves. Every Saturday on visitation day, we would wait for our names to be called and the officers would butcher our names. Instead of saying Amanda Cisco, report to visitation, they'd say Amanda Cassio. Instead of Melissa Asco, they would say Melissa Escasio. And we just laughed. And all the other women in prison, they knew our last names and they always laughed too. So one Saturday, it's a visitation day and we're sitting on the yard and we are watching the parking lot to see when our people get there. And then we always walk to visitation together. We see my dad pull up. He gets out of his car. He walks to the visitation desk and he's there for a few minutes and then he turns around and gets back in his car and drives away. We were both so confused. While well, me and Melissa are sitting there looking at each other like what in the world was that about? An officer came up and she was kind enough to let me know that my dad had got turned around because he left his cell phone in his pocket. For visitation, you're not allowed to turn around and take it and put it back in your car. Like your visit is terminated. You have to wait until the next week. My dad had never made that mistake and I felt so bad. It was about a 45 minute drive. But at that point, there's literally nothing I can do. And so I sat with Melissa and waited for her name to get called. And when she went to visitation, I would just go back to myself. Well, visitation started at one and went from one to five. And we sat there 115, 130, 145, and she still hadn't been called. And her parents were the kind of parents who got there super early before visitation even started and were like waiting in line for as soon as it started, they would be like first in line. And so something was off. Melissa said, well, let me go and call them and just like see if for some reason they weren't feeling good or what. So she goes back inside, she places the collect call, she calls her parents, she doesn't get an answer. She immediately hangs up, calls again, still nothing, no answer. We're both thinking maybe we missed them, maybe they walked up at a time we weren't looking, maybe they got turned around too. She was getting really, really worried. Add to the fact that her dad was elderly, he was a lot older than most dads. He was in his 50s when they had her, so her dad at this time was in his 70s. Melissa is panicking and she can't get a hold of anybody and all I could do was sit there and try to offer her comfort. At this point, Melissa had started calling other people in her family, like not just her mom and dad, just to see if anybody had heard anything and she finally got in touch with her aunt. Melissa's aunt told her that her dad had had a heart attack earlier that day. Melissa was so upset. In prison, you can't just have your feelings all out all over the place and so she was facing the field that we used to walk on and like crying towards that and I was there I was able to be there because my dad had gotten turned around which never happened her dad ended up spending some time in the hospital but he got out and he was okay but I always think back to that time and I think about how she could have been going through that by herself without me if I had been on visitation with my dad I wouldn't have even known what she was going through it just goes to show that even when things look bad like it looks like an inconvenience that could still be god working and to this day amanda cassio and melissa escasio are still best friends i don't know what's going to happen to this app but just in case it does go away would you please find me on the red play button app and give me a follow it's the same thing at prison underscore story and don't forget that god loves you and he's always working out for your good